Yo, today about to be epic. I'm um, about to go do a delivery with my boy Marlon, man, Velaz Express. So y'all know it's about to go down. This shit finna be epic. Y'all already know, man. Y'all know what to do. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, turn on your notification. I always tell y'all, stick with us. It's about to go down. I'm excited. Let's get it. You heard? Got my boy Marlon finna pull up. Finna pull up on my boy Marlon real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yo! <laughs> What's good? Finna pull up on the homie real quick. Yeah, that's him. That's the myth, the, the legend. <laughs> What's up, homie? Yeah, like a, a vlogger. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? <laughs> Gotta do that, man. This shit be real, man. Yo, we at Publix, man. What you, what we gotta get at Publix, boss? We gotta get some dry ice okay. for one of the boxes. Okay, doing a medical carrier route. Yes, sir. Okay, well, delivery, medical carrier delivery. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm gonna start doing in 2024, man. I'm gonna that's start. That's where the money's up, man. Yeah, I'm gonna start vlogging. Yeah. Y'all see the big homie, man. We live in Publix, coming to get some dry ice. And you tighten up, though. <laughs> Trying to find dry ice. On the search for dry ice. Everybody ran out. So if you don't have the dry ice, you can't make your delivery? Or could you still make it? I don't know. It really realistically it depends on, you know, the broker and the, the type of load it is. If it's like mandatory, then I know yeah. it's dead. But you could do it. Well we're on the hunt for dry ice. We have, he has this medical carrier delivery. As you can see the two small boxes back there. Going forty eight miles, paying approximately five hundred dollars. This is the purpose of having your Twit card. Yes, sir. You can make that Twit money. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm with the big homie today, man. You know what I mean? It's like, started as a mentee. You know, now it's like, you know, my, my, my right hand, you feel me? My big homie, man, Marlon, man. Boy, running up his bag, man. Boy, really running it up, man. He only 22 years old. I tell y'all this all the time. If he can do it, you have no excuses. That's how I, that's how I feel for 2024. If Marley can do it, <laughs> you don't have no excuses. And it's just that simple. It's just that simple. I ain't got nothing else to say. But y'all stay tuned. I'm going uh, to show y'all when we drop it off. Um, well, what is the delivery got to go to? West Palm Beach International Airport. Okay, great. Hello? Uh, so this, this, that store doesn't have any either. <laughs> this is, yeah, I don't know if there's like a shortage or anything. Do you want to try maybe this store on Wilbright and Military? They might have to add. Yeah, please. Okay, give me one moment. Thank you. <clears throat> this is like, crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> That's like the seventh story. They don't have anything. Yeah, it's crazy. And stuff like this happened in this game, man. You know, we got to, like, almost, like, got to be MacGyver or something. You got to, like, you know, figure it out. You know, fight through. Figure out a way to, you know, to get what you need to yeah, get these deliveries done. Yeah. Just make sure you keep in good contact with the broker and you let them know what's happening. So, you know, they don't think you're late or you're being lazy. Mm-hmm. Because if they think that, then that's how you lose good connections. Exactly. And, and that's the worst thing you want to do in this business is to be lazy. You don't want to be lazy. Facts. The the broker actually complained to me about the previous driver that used to do this route here and in Nebraska. Hello, sir. Hello? Unfortunately, they're not telling you either. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you know any other, like, stores that would be able to, like, have dry ice or... I don't because it's typically pretty random on which store actually... Yo, check it. We got lucky. We found the dry ice. 
How many um places you think we might have called, fam? Realistically, we probably called like seven places, and then we went to like three different Publixes and a CVS, just looking for dry ice. But thank God we found it. We're here now. We can get this delivery completed. <laughs> this was not easy, but it come with the game, though. You know, and that's the thing about this game, man. Like, you know, things are not always going to work out how you want them to work out. And when you come through, you know, different road bumps, you got to learn how to get through that, not stress yourself out, not overthink too much. There's always more than one way to get through something. You know, I always say, my mom always told me, it's more than one way to skin a cat. And, and that's how I look at life. So, you know, try not to overwhelm yourself. You know, just try to relax, calm yourself down and think. And, and look, we found the dry ice. You feel me? Persistence. Yes, it always sir. pay off. Yes, sir. Persistence, dedication. That's what it's all about. We finna go get that dry ice. I'm excited. Shout out to the dry ice. Yeah. Oh, they got a Walgreens and a Publix next to each other. Yeah, man, I'm out here on the grind today, and I'm looking fly. Y'all don't see me now. I'm looking fly with it. Don't play with me now. <laughs> Feel me? Gucci. Don't play with that boy. <laughs> don't play with that boy. Yeah, I got a big homie with me. Man, these iPhones are next level, bro. doing big things today. Y'all don't play with us. We're doing big things. I'm gonna go get the dry ice. What's up? That's yeah, that's crazy. They want they want your ID for dry ice. That's your ID for everything. <laughs> what the hell going on with the world? Can't even buy ice with the ID. <laughs> Well, my dad is super old-fashioned, so if they would have asked for his ID, he would have just Oh, left. I know. He, yeah, yeah, for real. Because <laughs> it's almost like a form of disrespect. It's almost like, they asked us for our ID to get some dry ice. That was crazy. crazy. Like, what are we going to do with the dry ice? <laughs> it's crazy. The world we live in, I swear, y'all. Living in different times, man. We living in different times, Give it a few years, you're gonna need some ID for ice cream. For real. They wanna put microchips in us. <laughs> you heard? Yeah, y'all see us, we ain't playing. What'd you think about this car? That's all right, the Genesis, that's all right. Yeah, y'all see, we ain't playing no games. And that thing mob got, don't play. Yeah, man, we're getting it in today, y'all. Getting it in today. That's what it take, man. And we're working on a Sunday. It's going down. 743 Burgundy Street. Bet. It's time to make that delivery. What'd you say? I said, this is the easy part, because as soon as we get to American Airlines, they're going to ask us for a few things, and hopefully the nurse puts all of it in the box this time, because last time I was there for like an extra hour. They paid for it, but I was there for an extra hour, and I don't know, the people over there aren't really too happy. Yeah, they're probably going through some things in their life. Who knows, but you ain't supposed to take that to work. You gotta leave that home. Right. Yes, sir. That transmission jerk hard, boy. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, man, this is what we do, though, man. You know, stick with us. Vlad's Express. You know. Yeah, this pressure right here, man. What y'all thought? Well, how y'all thought we were gonna start 2024 off? Come on, man. Man, can't play this yet. Day. I'm gonna tell you one thing I'm not doing for 2024. I'm not leaving no money on the table. I want it all and some. That's how I'm coming with 2024. Like 2023 was amazing. Was it amazing? Yeah. 
but I ain't leaving nothing on the table this time. Can't. This fact is 2023, changed my life. 2024, I gotta make a name. That's right. Big fakes. What happened? No, you, you got people that are gonna be like, oh, he got lucky. Oh, he got lucky. Oh, yeah, they don't even know my story, man. Fucking driving at 3 a.m. They don't even know. Nowhere. Come on, bro. They don't even know my story, bro. All up in the mountains and everything. I was in, in, the, in the mountains doing deliveries where it's, it's raining and the road is slippery. And, oh, shit. Yeah, I got my idea. I don't have a wallet. What you do with your wallet? I left it in my boy's house, bro. We were oh, drunk. <laughs> oh, no, but they're, they're really trippy. Oh, right, yeah, lady, she's seen me a few times. She's seen face. I'm going to show a black man. I'm going to show a black man on a Columbia. Oh, I'm picking up some. Oh, I do. 743 Burgundy Street. Hey, y'all, he's smooth with it, man. He ain't really showing the idea out of that. He got it turned sideways. <laughs> Thank you. And just like that, you heard? Yes, and we in now. Alrighty. Okay, so we just have to move the dryers back there, and then the nurse, she usually works from back there. And okay. Good. Sounds good. This like them places where you gotta be like 65 and older to live out here. Oh yeah. Yeah. They be showing them love in Florida though. They don't even charge them that much for rent. Very convenient. She said building 92. Building 92. These got these got letters on them. <laughs> <laughs> Already know I'm gonna have so much editing to do, boy. But this thing gonna be epic, and I might drop it Monday if I can get the thumbnail done in, in enough time. Yeah, bro. Um, if you want to check out the the website, it's almost done. I sent it to you. Okay. The guy's doing my thing, so maybe. Okay. If you want he can do it for you? I can put you on. All right, most definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. He's the one that's doing my website too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he went to college for that type of stuff, mm -hmm. engineering. Mm -hmm. And he can't get a job now because you know what's taking up engineering jobs? AI. Yep, that's so messed up. Bro, it's and so hard. So he'll probably let you get it for the low low then. Yeah. I can probably give him a lot of business, bro. People always ask me, do I know somebody who do websites? I mean, always ask me, bro. Nah, he, he, can, he, he does a good job. You're going to see my website, bro, like the way he made it and like yeah. how explosive it is to like the viewer. Oh, yeah, that's gangster. That's fine. About to pull up on this nurse so she can put this dry ice in these two containers. Uh, we're picking up some blood and we got to pick up some urine and then we got to take it to the airport. See, this to be them deliveries where y'all can really run up a bag, man. We're doing probably like we we doing probably like 30 miles if you ask me because from here to from here to West Palm Beach ain't number like 30 miles. That ain't that much many miles. Bro, that's like 35 miles. 35 mile pan five. And he, he said dollars. he's gonna reimburse me for the dry ice and like an oh, extra yeah. 50 bucks for the driving we did and shit. So beautiful. Beautiful. 600. Okay. 600 driving 35 miles. A medical delivery. Um we're picking up, like I said, we're picking up um some blood and some urine. Um, finna meet up with the nurse. I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how it go down. Y'all just stay tuned. We're gonna show y'all. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, Because the other boxes used to have, because I must check, hold on. 
The first time we did it, you guys sent it to, through Delta. Drive, uh, so, yeah, we got you, man. <laughs> it's going down, y'all. Stick with us, Envelaz Express. We got you. You feel me? Okay. <laughs> Not for no dry ice. <laughs> we was calling everybody. Trader Joe's. Everything. Walgreens, CVS. Sprouts. Sprouts. I never even heard of Sprouts, but we called them. Okay. Sprouts is like a uh, whole food. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Right, this one. Which one's the one with the dryers? This one. Okay. Do you want a reward? Also, that one didn't that one didn't need dryers. Okay. The one with the dryers is usually the one with the blood? Uh they both do. They're just different types of blood. So uh okay. Some of them can be refrigerated, some can't. Gotcha. Yeah, and they sent, these are the, like, this one is supposed to be a different box. Remember last time it had, like, that extra padded thing inside? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is some of this one. Oh, that's pretty cool. You're a nurse? I'm a nurse. What kind you are? So I actually just became a nurse practitioner. Oh, that's dope. Congratulations. Uh, Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. But I'm still working as just a regular nurse. So okay. Find my yeah, gig. that's right. That's what's up. You want to become famous? <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. That's why I said that. <laughs> she said, sure. <laughs> that's what's up. It makes money. I know that's right. For <laughs> real. That's what's up. Your YouTube special, specializes. This right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mentor people all over the country. Cool. Yeah, he's one of my mentees. Cool. Yeah, he's been doing what eight months now, nine months, something like that. We started last February, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, that's right. Almost at a year. Almost at a year. Dang, that's what's Almost up, man. Year. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. This? No, that came in the no. box. It's only put in the box. I'm trying, I guess I'm making my life easier. It's nice. Look <laughs> at the exact paperwork. Um, okay. And what do you need me to sign? Okay, so just. Oh, you were these two friends. I'll take you. Yeah, I have. And then I was just asking her if I should take these or not because I didn't know. Yeah. Are there? Mm -hmm. Yep. Because mm -hmm. the other com the other company they used to use, like it was like pellets. Mm. I oh, I've seen that before. I always get mine from Publix. I have no idea. They used I've to seen always the have pellets. pellets before. Okay. So there is a dry ice place, but it's further up north. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's where he went. Someone right there. Like would it's get like it an actual uh, dry store. I think they would get it from okay. Miami. Oh. Um, I don't know. Yeah. He came no, from Miami. Miami? Yeah, they would come from Miami, and then they would. Well, I'd pick up things here, and then drive. They would send them to drive back to Miami or. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of running around. Okay, amazing. Oh, that was fun, man. You know, some of these companies don't work smart. Work, yeah. So, you know, you just like do your thing, keep your yep. down. Yeah. You you send us the check. Drive. That's so, it. I know that's right. Nice hey, nice to meet you too. Have a good one. You're welcome. All right, man. We got this picked up. Got our dries. The nurse done came through. The nurse came through and did a thing. So we Gucci now. You know, it's always good to get your paperwork signed. That's very important. Always get paperwork signed. Always take pictures of whatever you get from, like whatever. I don't care what it is. Keep a record of everything. It's very, very important.
I always tell you, I know y'all want y'all be wanting to see the cargo van, so you see my boy got the dolly. He got the tool kit. He got the he got his um, cone. I go Case over the road, so you know you gotta have the yeah, bed. That's right, you gotta have the bed. This is stuff you need. Strap up the bed to the side so it doesn't get in the way. Exactly. That's then, what's up. One of the things that is very important that people usually don't have bro. Talk to me nice. This right here. Putting them on. Perry Page portable printer. I, I tell people this all the time. Always you, you gotta end up printing something. Have that you. portable printer. I portable tell people that all the time. Yeah, yep, my boy got the first aid kit. Very first enough. aid kit on deck. Heater. Yeah, most definitely got the heater. Y'all see the heater? So y'all looking for a heater? Get that one. Yeah, we out here today, man. We ain't playing. It's real. Sunny South Florida, palm trees everywhere. Loads like this, you gotta do some paperwork. Yo, hey, y'all know who it is, man. It's Tony from Stick With Us Delivery Service. I'm um, doing a load with one of my mentees, man, my guy Marlon Velaz Hello, Express. Velaz Express. Y'all already know, man. He's been rocking. He almost had a year. February gonna make a year that he started with me. Uh, he's truly been doing his thing, man. Like right now, we got this medical route. We had to get the dry ice. I'm gonna even show y'all the dry ice, right? Cause one of the bags had bust. I'm gonna show y'all this dry ice. Look at that. Steam, steam coming off that thing. You still got one more. Yeah, yeah, we got one more left. That's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you know the medical, the medical stuff that's like time sensitive. Like right now we got labs, urine, all that kind of stuff. When you're in this medical field, it's very time sensitive. And, um, you know, so things have to get there at a certain time. Like right now, we got to go straight to the airport. We got to take this to American Airlines, and then it's going to get shipped somewhere across the country. And, but, I mean, we're only driving 35 miles, and we're getting paid, um, what, six by $600 for 35 miles. But you also got to have your TWIT card. So that's why I tell y'all to get these certifications, because these certifications are, are very, very important. Um, but yeah, man, that's how we're doing it. Um, Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to drop a lot more content. It's Stick With Us. It's Velaz Express. We ain't playing no games in 2024. We're going to run it up, but we're also going to educate a lot of you all on how to get in this business and how to succeed in this business. So if you took anything from this video, take that. Go and get your Twit card. There's a website. I'll put the website in the video. It's called Indentigo. You can tap in with them. Um... And that's how you get your Twit card. They got um, offices all over the United States where you can go in there. They're going to take a, um, they, all they're going to do is take your picture. They're going to take your fingerprints. And then you just got to sign some paperwork. And, you know, and they also need your driver license. And that's all you need. It costs about $125. Takes about two to three weeks um, to get your Twit card. And, but it can help you make a lot of money, man. You can do a lot of routes where you're only doing 30, 40, and 50 miles. But you're making five and six hundred dollars, so that's how you do it. So um, we showing y'all firsthand on how to do this, how to get in the game. Sure, Twit card was only what one twenty? Yeah, like one twenty five. Yeah, sixty per year. So I just imagine that's a small investment, and look at the return on the first load: five hundred bucks, thirty miles, easy. Can't beat it, man. Stick with us. Stick with Velaz Express, and we got you. You heard? <laughs> that's perfect. I can print it out there and everything. Oh, it's because today's Sunday, right? Yeah. But the flight was 12.30, and I guess you didn't realize it. So. Okay, gotcha. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll just give it to FedEx and let them deal with it. Okay, no problem. Um, right, cool I will send you an email with those uh, labels or whatever they are here shortly. Okay, I'm going to do the shipper security endorsement. No, uh, I... you don't have to do it anymore. Oh, I don't have to do it anymore? It, it, yeah, if it's not getting on a flight, you don't have to do it. Oh, okay, all right, thanks. All right, cool, man. Thanks, man. All right, see you. <laughs> he just made my life so much easier. So usually there's supposed to be stickers when you're shipping, you know, some hazard freight, like through um, through an airline. You need to have certain stickers, like the hazmat. It's like a UN something. But he's sending me over. He's sending that over to my email. We're gonna go to a FedEx, print it out, and he said since uh, the closing time was 12:30 for the flight, they're gonna ship it through FedEx. 
because you know it was so hard to find some drives but he said it wasn't really an issue so as long as you communicate with the broker and you know the customer you'll be fine and just like that <laughs> I mean, we're about to go to a fedex so in it's reality we're getting 600 for like 10 miles beautiful <laughs> so i went from 35 miles to, to, 10, miles. to 10 miles for 600 dollars can't beat this i'm telling you i love this game man i love this game i can't wait for you all to see this video i'm pretty sure it's going to be very like informative a lot of information behind the scenes showing y'all how things get go down you know it's, it's pretty dope man but stay tuned i'll give y'all some more footage once we get to the fedex you heard my boy finna send me that raycon so y'all can see how much that how much that load really was for people be thinking think we, we can Feel me? Y'all see what that say? Line okay. haul rate. Just so, in case y'all think we be capping. Mm -hmm. So five hundred, and then we got an extra hundred for all the time that was wasted, and we had to do all this extra stuff. So yeah, that's how it go, man. I'm telling y'all, it's real out here. Look right here. You feel me? You guys could put in the zip codes and see how many miles that comes out to. But the last one got canceled, so we gotta go to a FedEx, and the FedEx is yeah. about ten miles from here. Exactly. So total might be like twenty miles. Can't beat it. Six hundred dollars. Can't beat it. Just get it. Y'all know you know I know we're gonna show the receipts over here, so you ain't gonna be able to be on our YouTube on our YouTube channel and our platform talking about we capping. We don't do no capping. Not with stick with us and Velaz Express. We don't do no capping. It's real over here. We do this in real time. That's why it's good to build relationships. Business relationships. That's what it's all about. Networking. I tell y'all this all the time. It's not what you know, it's who you know. You're <laughs> all right, about to take the orders into FedEx because we don't have to take them to the airport anymore. Sure. Which is amazing. Gonna save us some money. Well not money but time. Gonna save us some time. Got it. Yes, sir. Oh, that's super light. Check out some papers. What are we doing? You heard. All we gotta do is get a receipt from that receiver. We're done. Just like that. Goes and get some food. Okay. That's how we do it, y'all. Just that simple. Y'all need to eat. I'm hungry as hell. <laughs> hungry than a mother. <laughs> what you feel like eating? Hmm. Man, that, sometimes that'd be the hardest thing to do, bro. You know what have, like, really good uh, food? Who? You ever go to Texas de Brazil for lunch? Oh, no, I ain't that one for lunch. But, yeah, you know, they food epic. For lunch? Yeah. What they got and Texas like, de Brazil? It's like, it's like uh, normally it's like 60 bucks. Yeah, what they got one at? person, but I think now it's like, for lunch, it's like 30 or something. Like that. Oh, yeah. Do you know where they got one at? Oh, uh, no. Going great. Are you guys just dropping those off, or yeah, we're gonna come to you. You need to make new labels for those, or are those done right there? Gotcha. Great. Yeah, right here. Uh, and then, we're gonna come to you. 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 We're You heard. So what's going on now, Marlon? Got a little complicated at FedEx. They're about to ship it, and then the manager came and said we can't hold it because there's dry ice in one of the containers, um, and they don't have a holding facility to keep it cold. So we have to go to the main FedEx, which is on I think five minutes from here on Clearwater Congress. But there's an issue with that. It's Sunday; they're all closed. <laughs> So they're telling me I might have to hold it until tomorrow. That's crazy, right? 
But you know, instead of getting upset about it, that's opportunity for more money. I can get a hundred to two hundred bucks of layover. Facts. Holding two boxes. You follow me right now. Hello? Sorry? Just gonna see if you can find another flight option today to see if we can get on a flight. Okay. Um, however, I don't think she's gonna find one. Um, I don't know, we'll see. She said, worst case, we can do it tomorrow. Uh, if you're fine with that, I just gotta figure out. I don't know, this is poorly planned on their behalf. Okay, yeah, no, no problem. Because I was planning on hitting, I was planning on hitting the road tomorrow, you know, to go over the road. Uh, but if it, I, I can, I can wait, you know, we can just talk about it later. If she doesn't find the flying option, we can just do like a little uh, layover fee and... Yeah, I can pay for a layover. But, I don't know, if you can do it on my day, I just don't know. The airport, uh, like 25 minutes. It depends on traffic. It all varies the traffic. I'm not too far though. Yeah, gotcha. Then yeah, uh, we'll just play the waiting game and see what they say. Okay, yeah. Uh, but you don't, you don't have to hang around. Okay, yeah. Alright. Alright, cool. I'll keep you posted. I'm sorry. Like I said, thank you for putting this out. It's all good. Thank you. Alright. Thank you. Damn, turn on my camera. I know, right? <laughs> I hope they don't fight the flag option. What do you want to eat, bro? I don't even know, man. I'm finna find out. So check it. Like, we had this load. We started off paying $500. Then it went to $600 for 10 miles. It's a medical delivery hazmat material. Now it's um, potentially going to be an overlay now because it can't get shipped out today. We're going to have to wait until tomorrow. So how much do you think it's going to pay now, Marlon? Realistically, maybe like $750. Almost yeah. Almost 800 bucks. 10 miles. I just got to keep two little boxes in my van. Forget about them until tomorrow morning. How you, how you like the cargo van business? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, I had to ask him that question. <laughs> oh, my God. This is like a surreal moment, though, man. It's like, it's my guy, man. Yeah, we got to figure out what to eat. What you in the mood for? I mean, bro, I'm, I'm simple, bro. Like, I don't need nothing too crazy. Just, you know, have to see what's like around here. Another lunch. Some... Yeah, some lunch vibes. Are there games right now? You want to go like... Yeah, man, you know, you do all this work, you got to go eat. So we finna pull up on Roscoe Taco. Man, the big homie. Hey. Okay. We hungry, we got to eat. I already know the vibes, man. Finna get us some Roscoe's. Y'all see where we going. It's up. That's what I'm thinking about getting right there, though. <laughs> Y'all see me and the big homie, man. Down here in Darray Beach. Yes, sir. Work hard, play harder, you feel me? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what's up. We had to go eat real quick, man. Roscoe Tacos. Y'all stay tuned, man. It's going to be a lot more of this coming. I'm telling y'all. 2024. 2024 going to be a little different. 2024 going to be the year, bro. Most definitely. Hey, Marlon, man. I don't know if they know, but you've been doing this for 11 months, man. How much you think you made so far? I think I'm right around 225 230 Man, y'all hear that? That's a lot of money. Man said 225, so that means he probably gonna do a quarter, quarter milli for the first year in business. First year in business, been a owner operator of a cargo van business, making a quarter million. Now when we tell people this, people be in disbelief. They don't, they don't never believe nothing. <laughs> but we ain't got no reason to lie to y'all. This shit real. I'm already what six days, seven days until the new year. Thirty bands already. They ain't, they ain't been but seven days. I done cleared 30 already. 
And I show receipts. Y'all know me. I don't play. The crazy part is 11 months, right? But well, realistically, I've been in Colombia like three times already. Yeah. And I took a lot of time off with family and stuff. And, you know, some emergencies I had to do. So realistically, I've only been working for like about five months. Yeah. Yeah, you imagine, ain't imagine the potential in this business. On a full yeah. year, exactly, yeah. If you do a full year, it'll be epic. Four years, dedicate yourself, go ghost. For real. Make a lot of money. Real talk. Can't wait to drop this video on YouTube. This video gonna be epic. For real, for real. I'm gonna show y'all my. I'm gonna show y'all my favorite place. See that right there? Bank United and Capital One. Those are my favorite places. Banks. <laughs> <laughs> Banks are my favorite places. <laughs> Real talk. Have you ever been in that theater, bro? Epic. They got some really good food in there. What, I think? Yeah. Yeah. Lady I, I, I went to the, the one blanket. in Boca. Imagine yeah. it. Yeah. Real nice. The wings are good. Ooh, is they? Real good. Yeah, my cousin is too. Oh, that's epic. They got the Steve Jobs, Madonna. Oh, that's dope. Love, art, dream big. I like that. Yeah, you know, me and Marlon, man, we're really out here today, man. We ain't playing. That's dope, bro. All that color. y'all enjoyed the video man this video was epic um showed y'all how we do the medical care um business how we do medical hazmat delivery um there's a lot of money in this man like i told y'all get your twit card you know it's going it's going to help you out in the long run it's going to allow you all to make a lot more money go and get all your certifications they're very very important just want to show y'all some behind the scenes day in the life of the last express I got Marlon, Tony from Stick With Us Delivery. Y'all already know how we coming. That's what we do, man. It's 2024, um, and we're going to keep our foot on the gas. No brakes. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, hit the notification. Make sure you subscribe. Let us know if you guys want more of this. Exactly. If y'all want some more, put that in the comment. If y'all want more of um, me and Marlon, dropping videos you know and showing y'all behind the scenes and how we do everything um this is epic man great day um about 10 miles end up having to do a layover now so it's gonna be 750 dollars on this one delivery 800 i asked for 50 more bucks because i gotta deliver it to fort lauderdale oh excuse me hey, my bad y'all 800 dollars drove drove 10 miles 800 dollars. that's so epic um great video man and like my guy said he's been doing this for 11 months and he done touched two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars in 11 months in the cargo van business and there's so many different ways you all can do this and that's what i tell y'all you can become fleet owners you can have one or two cargo vans but then you can also dispatch for other cargo vans that way you can actually see a lot more money but you you can't do this until you build the proper relationships with companies, brokers, um, shippers, dispatch companies, and etc. So it's a lot of money out here, man. So tap in, hit the link in the bio. If you're trying to join the team. Make sure you Gucci. Marlon, you got any last words you want to say, fam? Keep working hard, man. 2024, it changed your life. That's it, man. And just like that, man, I'm going to holler at y'all. It's been real. You yeah. heard? Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up.